guys. You know, it, it it's basically... You guys already know what it is. It, it's time to do some more, uh, you know, NFL Week predictions. And we're finally to Week 1. Uh, so, yeah, this is where the normal season officially starts. And, uh, yeah, I'm really excited to finally have another NFL season in our hands already, finally. It feels like it's been so long. But, yeah, here we go. So, um, yeah, so let's do this. So, um, Buffalo Bills versus Los Angeles Rams. Both amazingly good teams versing each other in the first game. Um, honestly, I mean, I feel like there's no way, like, not, not actually, I'll take back saying no way, but I, I, I don't think the Rams will make it to the Super Bowl again this year. Um, and but I'm not saying that they're gonna lose this game just because of that. But I actually do think that the Bills will beat this game, or will win this game, not beat this game. Will win this game. Um, although the Rams, honestly, I, I honestly feel like it's gonna be a really close game. And honestly, if the Bills lose to this game, I won't be surprised. Honestly, I feel like both of these teams are really good. Uh, so yeah. Next, we have the Saints versus the Falcons. Here, I'm going to do this so you don't see what the new the next games are. So, the Saints versus the Falcons. Um, uh, I mean, the Falcons literally just got rid of Matt Ryan. I mean, I don't really think he was that good, but it's kind of sad how they traded Matt Ryan. <laughs> like, they literally traded him for, like, round pick, for, like, like what? Like, an eighth round pick or something. Not, not something. I don't know. They traded him for, like, for, like, draft picks or something. Not even for, like, players or anything like that. Which is kind of embarrassing. It's kind of saying that they don't even want him anymore. I'm not saying that he was, like, the one that was kind of bringing the team, but, you know. Um, now, I don't know, but I feel like I heard somewhere that, like, wasn't Julio Jones not with the Falcons anymore? I, I don't know. I, I kind of forgot. Um, I don't know. I heard that somewhere. I don't know if that's actually true. But, something like that. But the Saints, honestly, eh, I don't know. I, I think the Saints can win it, but, eh, close game. Steelers versus Bengals, uh, ooh. I feel like both of these teams are pretty equal this season. I'm gonna be honest. I think that both these teams are gonna be pretty equal. Although, I do think the Bengals will be a step ahead. Um, you know, they're kind of, they made it far. They kind of, you know, realize what they gotta do. And, uh, yeah. 49ers and Bears, bro. Get the trashy Bears out of here, bro. They ain't gonna win a game. They might win, like, maybe, like, they might get, like, maybe, like, an even, uh, an even, um, record. Like, maybe, like, 8-8. Eight and eight, But that's honestly the only thing I'm expecting with them. If not, worse. Uh, Browns and Panthers. Okay, real quick, I want to kind of point this out. There are so many revenge games. Um, within, like, week one, or, like, maybe in some of the preseason, they kind of forgot. But there are so many revenge games. As you guys, if you guys don't know, basically, Cleveland Browns, they traded Baker Mayfield over to the Packers, or not the Packers, the Panthers. And now the Panthers are versing the Browns, uh, which is, there are so many of these games. I swear, you'll literally see a few of them when we keep going down. Maybe not so many, but I think we already did some. Like, there was, like, one of the preseason, at least, I think. Um, yeah. Oh, yeah, it was the Bengals versus the Rams. Yeah, that was interesting. But anyways, um, honestly, I feel like the Cleveland Browns are going down. They're just, I don't know what they're doing with their quarterback at this point. Um, I, I really don't know. Uh, the Panthers, I think they'll be a little promising this year, but I don't think they're going to be that great. They might be, like, equal to the Bears, like, maybe, like, an 8-8 eight and eight record, but that's honestly the best thing I'm expecting from them. Eagles and Lions. Um, yeah, uh, I mean, let's be honest, Lions are not going to win against the Eagles, come on. Ravens and Jets, okay, that's not even a question. The Jets are not going to beat the Ravens, so that's not even a question. Patriots versus Dolphins. Isn't this a revenge game? I, I think this was a revenge game, right? I don't know. But, um, so, uh, um, uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be honest. I, 
if I did this last year, I probably actually would have chose the Patriots, but for some reason, I just feel like the Dolphins are going to be very promising this year. I feel like the Dolphins, like, just need, like, one more thing, and their team will be, like, really good. I can't think of it on the spot, but it, I remember I said it some, so at some point in time. All right, the Jags and the Commanders. Let's be honest, Jags are not going to win. Let's just point that out there. Colts versus Texans. Texans are not going to win. They're trash. Raiders and Chargers. Oh, so this is technically a revenge game because this was like the last game before last year's playoffs and the Raiders lost when, because there was like three seconds left on the clock and or I think there's honestly, I think there was one second left on the clock and the Chargers kicked a field goal and they won and they went to the playoffs and then obviously they lost the first round. But, but yeah. Uh, do I think that that will happen again? Uh, yeah. <laughs> maybe not by, like, that close of a game. I I mean, maybe it'll be a different game. Maybe it'll be close again. Probably not the same outcome. Like, you know, like, the field goal with one second left on the clock or something like that. But I do think the Chargers will be able to beat the Raiders again. I'm not saying that the Raiders are bad. I just think that their matchups are just, they're, they're very both kind of in the same range of, like, skill. All right, Packers versus Vikings. I mean, like to be honest, in the Packers division, um, I honestly feel like the Vikings are like the only people that might be able to take a lead on the Packers. But let's be honest, they're not a threat. They're they're literally not a threat. They're not gonna do anything. But those are like, I feel like the Vikings are the closest team that could maybe try and you know shut down the Packers in that division. But it's not gonna happen. It's not going to happen. I mean, Devontae Adams is gone in the Packers, but I don't think that's going to do anything, really. I mean, it might be a little bit more difficult for Aaron Rodgers, but yeah. Giants versus Titans. Oh, God, keep going. Uh, Giants versus Titans. Uh, no, Giants are not going to win against the Titans. That's not even a question. Uh, Chiefs and Cardinals. Ooh. Um... You know, I take back thinking that the Cardinals are going to be an A team this year in the tier list video. I think I put them at A. I kind of want to change them to B if I didn't. A, they might have been in B. I don't know. But I feel like they're going to be a B. I feel like their record is honestly going to be like 9-7. and seven. That's honestly what I think their record is going to be. Wait, wasn't that their record last year? I don't know. Or maybe 10-6, and six, but that, that that's it. Chiefs, I honestly think they're going to do better than them, and I think that they would be able to rule out the Cardinals in this game. Bucks versus Cowboys. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah, no, the Cowboys are getting destroyed. Cowboys don't have a chance, honestly. I mean, not it's not that they don't have a chance. It's just, after looking at the Cowboys in the preseason, and I know it's the preseason, before you guys get mad at me, I know it's the preseason, so it's not like the actual like starters doing that. Oh, yeah, we'll get to that game in a second. But, and I know it's a pre I know it's a preseason, but after watching them in the preseason, they did terrible in some of the games. Now, yes, I believe that they did have a 2 and one preseason uh, record, so if you're someone that actually doesn't watch the games and just looks at the records, then you'll be like, what are you talking about? They did good. If you watch the games, they made so many mistakes. They had like 50 penalties in preseason week two. It was literally just insane. I don't know. I just can't see the, the Cowboys even winning that. Oh, and this is probably the biggest revenge game of this week. Uh, maybe beside for the, or, or maybe the Browns versus the Panthers. But we have the Broncos versus the Seahawks. Um, and for people that don't know, well, um, Seattle Seahawks uh, lost Russell Wilson. Uh, and they gave him to the Broncos. And now Russell Wilson is going to be versing his home team, his old team, the Seahawks, in their home. So, yeah. This, I really want to see this one. This one I really want to see. But let's be honest. No, Seahawks aren't going to win. <laughs> let's be honest. Seahawks are not going to win. I really think the Broncos are going to be really good this year. Okay, I swear, the, the the okay this division is going to be insane with uh with the Chiefs, Cardinals, Broncos, and um, why can I not think of the other one right now? Raiders. Um, that division is literally going to be insane this year. Like they all are actually like decent 
or like decent at least. If not, they're even better than that. So like every team on this is actually pretty good. So I this division's literally like I feel like the whole division's gonna go to the playoffs. May I and that's exaggerating. Obviously, I don't think the whole team's gonna go the whole division's gonna go to the playoffs, but it actually is possible though. Like an actual a whole division can go to a playoff. Or can go to the playoffs, like because I think they actually have three wild cards this year, so it's it's possible. Then you get the buy, but uh, but no, I, I actually I don't think that's actually gonna happen. I was joking, but anyways, that is it for the week one predictions. I'm gonna kind of skim through these, and if you have any different opinions, feel free to leave them in the comments below. And I think the best game uh this week, like the most exciting game. I honestly think is going to be the Broncos versus the Seahawks because that's I feel like is like one of the highest revenge games. Uh, if not, maybe the Browns versus the Panthers. So that's also a pretty good revenge game. And uh, yeah, that's it. Um, and that that's preseason week two. And uh, yeah, that's it. Nothing else for me to say. That's it. Have a good day.